All right, man, let's talk about Detroit Pistons health. And that's one that nobody has really talked about. Everybody talk about adding ingredients to the pot. But um, nobody's really talked about health-wise where, uh, where they lacking at. Um, you know, and, you know, they haven't had an opportunity to really form camaraderie, you know. Um, Kay Cunningham being injured. I mean, Jalen Durham missed some time. Uh, you got thinking, you know, before he got here, James Wiseman. I think he was injured when he first got here, but, you know, Wiseman had been injured a lot of times in his career. Um, that's one of the reasons why he probably his development slowed down. Y'all boy Killian been injured. Isaiah Stewart been injured. So, collectively, you know, they really not put a lot of time in on the court. I mean, you could be in training camp. You got remember K missed his train, you know, first training camp and then had a what a stretch fracture in the shin for a second training camp. So, you know, a lot of people talking about making a uh, major improvements or overhaul to the team, but sometimes you don't know what you got. And and that's hard because they literally don't know um they literally don't know what they have on this team. But you got Detroit Pistons talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And the only way that, you know, um, and check out the podcast on Spotify, rate right? it. You only know what you got when you see them play in live time. And I think it's multiple uh, multiple aspects of, you know, why, you know, they lack. And I think Dwayne Casey didn't really reel them in, but also he didn't have the most healthiest bunch in an NBA. That's not that's the new norm. You know, young guys being more injured than ever. And I have my hypothesis on it. Some people think, hey, it's too much AAU. I don't think it's that alone. I think the major single factor is me looking at, you know, Victor Walla Banana, uh, you know, doing some strength and conditioning. He ain't picking up no weight. Seeing Jokic, you know, deadlift 225 plates, that ain't no weight, bro. You could say, oh, he's working on flexibility, man. Fuck all that, dude. If you want to survive, if you want to have a long career, you got to have some muscle. I ain't talking about you got to be like Kevin Willis, Dwight Howard, the X-Men. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Xavier Daniels. But you you got to have some muscle, dude. These dudes don't be having no muscle tone. They be skin and bones or just just water and fat. You can't – you got to you, – to, to, to play 82 games plus the playoffs and go through the grind of the NBA season, you got to be – you can't do this new strength conditioning program bullshit they pushing in the NBA. You can't. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, you cannot do it. Michael had to get in the weight room. Scotty had to get in the weight room. All them dudes did. But I ain't here to speak on that. But going forward, it's like I can't add I can't add no more salt and pepper, you know, to the rice or to the grits if I ain't tasted it first. I got to like taste it. That's why when people cook food, they don't like eat after they cook because they got to taste the food to make sure it's good. And by the time I taste it a few times, I don't desire it anymore for a while. Unless I'm starving like Marvin. <laughs> but you don't know what to add to this. You only can can look to, you know, look in and guess to what adds to this team. But you got to see how they play together. You got to see. And you may, to be honest, in a very rare occasion, you may not need to add any seasoning to this team. This team may be good how it is, and it's going. You can't speed the development up. You don't want to speed the development up, honestly. They got to go through every little knickknack. You know, they got to go through the growing pains. They got to go through the ups and downs. It's part of the process, and unfortunately for us, we've been losing for a long time in Detroit, and people tired of it. But you don't. You can't skip steps in the process. So they process is actually finally getting to going. You got a new coach who's going to bring some type of structure, some type of stability, some type of accountability, okay? And then hopefully you're getting a healthy bunch going into camp. They're able to build camaraderie on and off the court. You know, you get to you get to around January, middle of January, you see where you at. Not necessarily meaning you got to have a great record or the most winningest record in the league. That's not what that means. You just want to see them gradually starting to go through that process of development. You want to see, okay, you know, let Caden and, and Ivy figure it out. How Duran going to fit in? How the battle between Wiseman and Duran going to go? Okay, this is what we need. We, we, we lacking here. You know, that's kind of what you want to see. 
you know. So, you know, but like I continue to say, bro, it's to the point where, um, you know, they got to go through them growing pains. You don't, you don't really want to throw no, throw nothing extra, you know. You know, you don't want to throw nothing extra in the pot and mess the pot up before you know what you what you got what you got going on. So that's my thing about it. So they basically got to go through these growing pains. You know, they basically got to go through these these natural growing pains. Uh, you know, and I, and I believe, you know, you'll start seeing it now. Is it guaranteed that all these pieces don't fit? Absolutely not. So then that's when you start, you know, subscribe, subtracting, adding what you need, taking what you don't need out, you know. And at the end of the day, they should be shooting for about 40 wins this year. You know, if Kay Cunningham ain't healthy this year again, then obviously you got to make uh, reservations to be without them. To, to get rid of him. And that's sad, but true. And he, he may pop off somewhere else. And that's just the, you know, God honest truth. He just wasn't meant for it to be here. And if Ivy, you know, continue to excel, then guess what? You handing the keys over to Jay and Ivy and y'all keeping them moving. So it really is a make or break season for Kay Cunningham. A lot of people ain't gonna like me saying that, but and not in a in a you know a pure performance type of way, just an availability type of way. But you know, everybody want to add this, add this to the team, add that to the team, take this away from the team like myself. But at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, I just believe that uh, you got to find out what you got. So you really don't want to make too many, um, um, too many major changes that's going to mess up the development. You just want to, you know, compliment them. And that's Cam Johnson, guys like that, and DeAndre Hunter, and however you can continue to, um, however can you you can continue to compliment, uh, you know, compliment them. But I want to see what we got first. You know, I want to see what the, what we got, how they play together, how they ball together, you know, how they mesh together. So, yeah, I want to see what we got. So, uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree. Find on TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, appreciate the love and support. Peace.